Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise ah, the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for today's session. Thanks to all those that will be joining us along the way. God bless you. Amen. Every one of us, we are going to experience the hand of the Lord today Amen. by His grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the topic we have today is the hand of God. Oh, yes. The hand of God. Thank you for joining us, my sister, yeah. Mommy Grace. Yeah. God bless, bless you. you. Yeah. So, the hand of God, part one. Yeah. Holy Ghost, we thank you because you are here, and you will teach us, you will guide us into all truth oh, in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not only hear, but we will do. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we'll see great manifestations of your words, Amen. even in our time, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 So the topic we have before us today is the hand of God. Sorry for starting a bit late. Yeah. We have some things that we needed to sort out. God bless you. Amen. So the hand of the Lord. We can't say what is the hand of God. We yeah. can only say who is the hand who? Yeah. of God. Mm -hmm. Who is the hand of God? According to scriptures, the hand of God is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the hand of God. Oh, yes. Why do we say that the hand of God is the Holy Spirit? We'll go through a few scriptures in order to verify this as evidence that is the hand of of God. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is the hand of God. Mm -hmm. If we open our Bibles to Exodus 8, 19. Yeah. Exodus 8, 19. Yeah. Are we going yeah. to read it? We yeah. should read it. Uh, you know, I want to read from the, I'm reading from the confessional uh, prayer Bible. Then the magician said unto Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. And he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. So we see the first mention of the hand of God. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We see the first mention of the finger of God. When we talk about the finger of God, we are talking about the hand of God. Yeah. Because you can't take one finger and say that it's separate from the hand. Definitely. The, the hand and the finger <laughs> is the same. Yeah, so that's true. So here we are told that the magicians, why did they say this? They said this because as Moses was doing his own signs and mm -hmm, wonders, mm -hmm. they too were doing their own. Yeah. But it got to a stage, to a level, whereby they couldn't duplicate what yeah. he was doing anymore. When it came to the time of, I think, the lights. The yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah, the lights, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So they couldn't duplicate that. So mm -hmm. they had to now confess that this is but the finger of God. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So when we see the finger of God here, it makes mention of the finger of God. That is the hand of God. Yeah. So why are we saying that the finger of God here is the hand of God? If we look at the New Testament, or maybe we should look at Deuteronomy 7, 8, 2. Okay. Just another one in the Old Testament. That's true. Mm. That shows that mm. God's will are delivered by the, by, the, by the finger of God, by the power of God. Yeah. Deuteronomy 7, verse 8. Yeah, I read from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because the Lord loved you, and because he will keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, as the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh king of uh, Egypt. Amen. 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 So here again we are seeing the mention of the hand of God. That is the hand of God that did the signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, and it was the hand of God that also delivered them mm -hmm. from the hand of the Egyptians, from Definitely. bondage, from yeah. slavery. Mm -hmm. So if we go into the New Testament, Matthew 12, 28, yeah. and Luke 11, let's look at Luke 11, 12 first, so that we yeah. can explain okay, Luke better. 11, 20. Okay. Luke 11, 20. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Luke 11, 20. 
I will read Matthew 28, so why you read Luke 11, 20? Okay. Okay, so that it can be faster. <laughs> uh, All right. 11, 20. Okay. Says, but if I, with the finger of God, this is Luke's account, saying, but if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, yeah. no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Okay. And Matthew 12, 28, from the confessional prayer bible is um it says but if i cast out demons by the spirit of god then the kingdom of god is come unto you okay yeah okay so here we're able to say they were talking about casting out devils, devils yeah, yeah by the finger of god according to max matthew's account yeah and then according to luke's account he said the finger of god yeah so we can see there that the finger of god and the spirit of the lord the spirit of god mm. were used interchangeably here yeah. meaning that the finger of god and the spirit of god are the same, the same as yeah. the hand of the lord yeah the finger is the hand and the hand was the holy ghost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in reference there so the hand of god is the holy ghost that's true that's true. the hand of the lord that delivered them out of bondage in the old testament is still relevant today mm. he is the finger of god that was made reference to among the magicians yeah and is also made also made reference to in the new testament oh, as yeah. the finger of god that's true and we know that when the finger of god brought the children of israel out of bondage that means brought them into freedom hmm. In our own time, that means that the Bible tells us that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there, there is, is liberty. 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 There is liberty. liberty. So He brings you into freedom. Hmm. He brings you into liberty, into serving Christ, to be liberated to hmm. serve God. That's true. Because the Egyptians, uh, the Israelites in that day, they wanted to go and serve God. And hmm. they couldn't serve God properly in bondage. Uh, it, it wasn't it, possible. It wasn't possible that they were supposed to leave that place so that they could go and serve God. Mm, mm, mm. So any sign of bondage is not of God. At all. At and all. we are even told that we have received today not the spirit of fear again mm. to bondage. Yes, or bondage, bondage again, again to fear. To fear. Mm. But we have received the spirit of adoption. We are by, we cry, by Abba, Abba Father. Father. Wow. So the Spirit of the Lord gives us liberty, mm, mm. has brought us to liberty. Mm, mm. Liberty from the law to serve God. Wow. Liberty okay. to walk in what God wants us mm, to walk in. Mm. Liberty to serve God mm. the way God wants us to serve Him. Oh, yes. Honey, which implies that without the hand of the Lord, without the Holy Spirit, mm. what God promised the Israelites concerning freedom from bondage mm. would have been impossible. Mm. It was the Holy Ghost that stepped in mm. that actually helped the Jews from leaving bondage. Yes. What God said that, look, I will, I will take you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm. That would have remained in the realm of promise mm. if not that the Holy Spirit mm. helped them out. Yes. God used his spirit to liberate them from bondage Yes. Yes. to a place where they could serve God. Yes. Better. Maybe you are watching us and you have a desire. God has promised you something mm. concerning how you can serve him better. Mm. But you are struggling. You are like, as it were, in a bondage. Mm. The Holy Ghost that helped the Jews in a foreign land, that same Holy Spirit is with us. If, mm. you, if, you, you know, if you are a believer in Christ, mm. it's with us and it's in us mm. as his children. Mm. And it's committed to make sure that we walk in liberty and we leave bondage for freedom to serve God better. Yes. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Yes. That's why Jesus Christ came. And the Bible tells us that when we know him, yeah. he brings freedom. Definitely. Definitely. But if we don't know him, we can say that we have given our lives to Christ and yet we don't know him. How hmm. can we receive freedom hmm. to serve him? And it's only through his spirit that we can experience. We are talking about the experience of freedom. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. it's through his spirit that is the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we can receive freedom. That's true. 
That's true. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Definitely. There is a making that comes only through the Spirit of God. Hmm. So even Jesus Christ, he used the hand of God. Hmm. Because from the references, the yeah. Matthew 12, 28, yeah. I cast out devils by the Spirit of God. Hmm. And even Luke also tells us the finger of God, I cast out devils by the finger of God. So that means that even Jesus Christ had to use the Holy Ghost. Hmm. He had the enablement of the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, power. who went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Hmm. That's how asking. God hmm. anointed Jesus wow. Christ with what? With, with the, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost and power. power. That's why he was able to go about doing good and healing all oh. those that were oppressed hmm. of the devil. For mm. God was with him. Mm. So even Jesus Christ had need of the Holy Ghost Thank in Jesus. order to effectively fulfill his ministry. Mm. And if we are looking at Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, we should also look at him and see that, okay, he too used the Holy Ghost. Mm. He was enabled by the Holy Ghost. Mm. That means that we too have to be enabled by the Holy Ghost. And if we have been enabled by the Holy Ghost, then that means we have we need to start walking hmm. as, Holy Ghost. as Jesus Christ walked. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Well, wow. Well, wow. Well. Maybe there is somebody there in bondage. Hmm. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is, liberty. there is liberty. There is liberty. Jesus Christ has come to make you free. Mm -hmm. And that freedom is through the Holy Ghost. Oh yes. We say you are free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Free in your body. Amen. Free in your mind, in Amen. your emotions Amen. to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm. The knowledge that you need to make you free mm. is your portion will begin to manifest from today, from henceforth, by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So the hand of the Lord was able to do signs and wonders. Mm. The hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt yeah. did all the signs and the wonders. And in our own time, in order to see the signs and the wonders, mm. it's through the Holy Ghost. That's, that's right. Why do I say that? If we look at second, is it first? No, first Corinthians yeah. 12. Okay. 1 to 11 talks about the Spirit of God, yeah. the gifts of the Spirit. Though that's the way by which we can do the signs and the wonders. It's through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. That's how signs and wonders can be wrought. It's through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And who is the person that dispenses those, those gifts? gifts? It's mm. the Holy Ghost. Yeah, it's the person. As he wills. Mm. Mm. And interestingly, where the Holy Spirit is, all these gifts are present. Yes, yes. You know, I came to learn this long, I mean, some, some few years back. You know, we used to learn that, well, you know, somebody can have a, a, one. Three, a one gift of the Spirit, another person can have two, another person can have three gifts of the Spirit manifesting. But I've learned that where the Holy Spirit is, mm. all his gifts are present within. Yes. We didn't leave some at home somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he will not be with us or be in us and just and just be with only three and mm. leave four outside. Mm. That's not him. Where he is, every gift is present. Oh yes. For signs and wonders to profit. Yes. yes. However, <laughs> when the need arises for a gift to operate, your place gift through us. Yes. If yes. you are in a place and the Holy Ghost wants to manifest miracles, mm. He manifests that grace of miracles mm. through you. Mm. If you are in a place and what you need as a believer, as a child of God, is to manifest the words of wisdom, mm. the words of knowledge. Mm. The Holy Spirit manifests that through you as we believe Him to manifest. Mm. He won't say, well, I will manifest three gifts through my wife and and the, the remaining the remaining six gifts will be, you know will come through me as the husband no because the holy ghost that my wife has mm. is the same holy ghost that i have as a person 
no female Holy Spirit. <laughs> there is no female Holy Spirit. And he won't give he won't give her three and give me six or give me six and give her three. Hmm. However, all the nine gifts are present in each of us when you have the Holy Spirit. Hmm. But when there is need to manifest gifts of miracles hmm. and you are led, hmm. that gives manifest. Yes. That you, are, you know, you will see the deaf here through yeah. your ministry when it leads you. Yes. <laughs> you said something that you said led as led, led as mm -hmm. led. That's where the problem lies. If we are not led, then we cannot manifest hmm. those, gifts. those gifts. We have to be led because if we look at First Corinthians 12 at the beginning, the Bible was telling us there that it didn't want us to be ignorant hmm. concerning the gifts that before we were led by these dumb Idols. idols so mm. there is a leading mm. from that place we can see that there is a leading by the dumb idol mm. idols mm. but that now we are no longer led by the dumb idols oh yes but we are led by the spirit of god mm. 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 as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god oh yes so you have to be led by the spirit in order to manifest your sonship definitely definitely in fact jesus christ could not manifest any of the gifts Without. Without being led by the Father. Yes. So, <laughs> many a times believers, we are discouraged because maybe, you know, you didn't see a gift manifesting through you in an mm. area. Mm. It's possible God is not willing to manifest that gift there. Mm. Because you don't control the where gift. and when the Father chooses to manifest the gift or where the Holy Ghost chooses to manifest the gift of the Spirit. Yes. You don't control that. Yes. He is very much in charge. Yes. Everywhere you get to, and the Holy Ghost wants to perform a miracle. Mm -hmm. It will lead you to what you do. Mm -hmm. And you see miracles. Mm. <laughs> Honey, I hope people are watching me. Mm. You know, I'm still growing. But in my younger days in the Lord, I have the heart that anywhere I go, I want everyone, I want everyone to be healed. I want everyone to be healed. I just want to help people. But I've, but I've learned that Jesus Christ did not go to, uh, go to everyone and heal everybody mm. in Nazareth. Mm. Only where he was led. Yeah, he was, you know, he would not go and pray for any sick mm. except the father says, okay, I am doing this. Mm. Although the case of the man, with, uh, the man with the issue of blood, you know, you can see maybe, you know, that was a case where he said, who touched me? Mm. But I know that he would have known that he would be touched yeah. that day. Yes. But, but, you know, may, maybe the human part of him came into play, into being, mm. showing us that, you know, he was, he was, he was fully human and he was fully God. But Jesus Christ will not go and heal anybody without being told to go and heal mm -hmm. the sick. Mm -hmm. He won't go and raise all the dead uh, in, in all of the side. <laughs> where they lay, okay, the okay. And in I think in, uh, in Luke five, mm -hmm. he got to the pool of Beth, uh, of Bethsaida, mm -hmm. and he was only able to heal one man. You know, be, uh, be, uh, beside that pool, there are so many sick people there, but only one man got healed because the Lord was led to True. heal that man. Yes, just that man. Yeah. He had a 100% result. Yes. At the pool of, you know, Bethsaida. Yeah. There were so many dead people mm. in Bethany. Mm. Only Lazarus was led by the Holy Ghost. Mm. You know, only Lazarus was led by the Holy Ghost. Only Jesus. Sorry, only Jesus Christ was led. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus, Jesus was Christ was, was led by the Holy Ghost to go and raise up Lazarus. Yes. And somebody said that they had to mention Lazarus. If they hadn't mentioned mention. Lazarus, <laughs> maybe everybody that was dead in that grave uh, in that area. grave area would have come out. That's true. That's so true. he had to specify, he had to say Lazarus come forth. Yeah. So the Lord Jesus Christ, as compassionate as he was, mm. he would not be able to do anything mm. without Unless the father. He sees the yeah. father do it. Yeah. He couldn't do anything at all. He couldn't do anything mm. at all. <laughs> And it's, it's amazing. So, if we are not led to do anything and we want to activate signs and wonders, mm. it is it is That's a chaos. Like <laughs> it will be a chaos. Mm. It will be a frustration. Mm. Mm. But if we know that Holy Ghost is behind every gift that we have mm. in us, mm. and He manifests those gifts when He wants mm. and where He wants, yes, then it's very easy to walk in signs and wonders. wonders. So easy. Just follow whatever it says. Just and you will see signs and wonders manifesting. Yeah, just follow his leading. And you will see signs and wonders manifesting, manifesting in your life. This is awesome. It's not by our will. It's not by the will of man, but the will of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 
the Holy Ghost is very much in charge. Mm -hmm. He's behind every signs and wonders. He's behind every deliverance that Jesus Christ mm -hmm. performed. Mm -hmm. And he himself said, he can do nothing. He says, he, he, says he does what he sees his father do, which means he just repeats what he sees his father oh, do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There comes learning how to hear from the father. Yes. Thank yes. God we have discussed that in our previous yes. uh, uh, broadcast to an extent. Mm. When you know how the Holy Ghost speaks, you will know what he wants to do at a place yes. or in a place and at a given time. exactly that manifesting. And you see results manifesting. Results coming forth. You will see, oh, oh this is results mm. Mm. because the Holy Ghost is behind deliverance. Uh, it's behind signs and it's because wonders. It's behind signs and wonders. Let's Hallelujah. look at um, Romans. Romans 15, 18 and 19 also verifies this. That is the Holy Ghost, the hand of the Lord, that does signs and wonders. The one that they experienced in the in Egypt. Yeah. Signs and wonders were manifesting. Paul, let's see his recording of the hand of the Lord. 15. Let's just read 18 and 19. Yeah. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ has not wrought by me. To make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Through mighty signs, signs and, and wonders. wonders. By the power of, of the, the Spirit, Spirit of, of God. God mm. So that from Jerusalem and Jerusalem, round about unto Elycrium, I have fully preached the, the gospel, gospel of, of Christ. Christ. Mm. So he, he himself said signs and wonders by who? By, by the, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. By His Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank Wherever you, Lord. the Spirit of the Lord is, there is power mm. also. How mm. God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So wherever the Holy Ghost is, there is power. So Thank signs you, and wonders happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so Paul here was telling us here, that it was by the Spirit of God that he was even doing the signs and wonders. Mm. So that mm. was the hand of God mm. in mm. effect mm. manifesting. And we should also note here that he said the full gospel. Mm. So it's not just by talking that we have the full gospel, but mm. signs and wonders also should Must. manifest mm. in order to say that we are preaching the full gospel. Mm. We can't, it's not by, it's, it's not in word. But it's in power. Oh, yes. We need to see the manifestation. That's what will make us different from every other faith. Faith, yeah. That out they there. say that is mm -hmm. out there. Mm, mm, mm. The full gospel has to be preached. The word as well as signs, signs and, and wonders. wonders following. Mm. And sweetheart, as you are talking, mm. I just came to realize, if God could use a person like Apostle Paul, mm. The way God did. Mm. <laughs> Who was once a waster of mm. the church of God. Mm. Who was once a person who was compelling Christians to blaspheme against God. Mm. If God could touch him, he had an encounter with God, mm. and the Holy Ghost walked through him. Mm. How much more? You mm. and I. Mm. As long as we know that it's not by power or by our might. might. But by the, by the Holy Spirit, God. I tell you, we will be unstoppable oh, yes. when it comes to manifesting signs and wonders. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Mark 16. Mm. In my name, they will cast out yeah, devils. They will speak, they will with, speak new with new tongues. tongues. It says, they will take up serpents. Mm. And if they eat anything, it won't hurt them. He says they will lay they their hands, hands upon the sick and they shall recover. Oh, yes. The price to pay is the price of believing that what Christ has said is yes. true. Yes. Are you a believer? Are you yes. a believer in Jesus Christ? If, if it is yes, then you are qualified to demonstrate signs and yes. wonders. Yes. It's not only for a pocket of people in America so, or, 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 or in Nigeria or in, uh, in, or in, uh, in England or in, in Ukraine. In South Korea, mm. it is for every believer mm. in Christ. Mm. Signs and wonders. Once you can trust the Holy Ghost mm. for signs and wonders, mm. whoever you are, mm. you are going to see the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. If God could use Paul, oh, yes. who was once a persecutor of the early church, mm. he can use you. Hey, a landman. 
or will we say a learned man, hmm. a learned man, somebody that was educated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As he uses the educated, he can also use the uneducated. Peter, you are right. You are right. The fisherman, hmm. Matthew, yeah. the Levite, the one that was um, a task collector. Task collector. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He used different kinds of he, different kinds of people. So long as you are human. Wow. Wow. Hmm. And even if you are not human, sometimes you can even use a stone. <laughs> well, that's another story. Okay, another okay, story. okay. Uh, or mm. a donkey. A donkey can speak. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. So, Apostle Paul knew that it was through the Holy Spirit, mm. the power, of the mighty Spirit. signs and wonders mm. we are performed, mm. because he has known how to live with the Holy Spirit oh, yeah. and step out as yeah. he is led. Yes. Neglecting his own flesh, his own. Uh, hey, what if I step out and there's nothing? Nothing happens. Mm. The mm. question is, what if you step out and things happen? Uh, something happens. God is glorified. Mm. When you step out, you pray for the sick mm. as you are led. You know, mm. as I led means sometimes, you know, you are going for a program. Maybe you are going for a church program, mm. and as you are going, uh, you know, you just, mm. you know, you just have an insight that mm. people, people there can have blood issues, mm. issues of blood, mm. or. God brought a story to mind about a woman with the issue of blood. Mm. And so as you get to that place, he just mentions, look, there's somebody here that has an issue of blood. Mm. And the power of God is present to heal you. Mm. When you say that word out, leave the rest of the Holy Spirit. He will stretch forth his hand. He will stretch forth, will stretch forth his hands and heal the person who has the issue of blood. Mm. Mm. So you are led. Sometimes you will have dreams about somebody. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. There is somebody out there with that condition okay so that example the issue of blood thank you lord that's the word of knowledge for somebody mm. you are having a, the issue of blood issue of blood mm. the fountain of that issue of blood is dried up now amen by the power of the holy spirit amen. in jesus name amen hallelujah amen, amen. Uh, so so when you are going for a program it's possible before you even get to mm. that place you have had a dream about, about what god will do mm. a dream mm. you can have a dream and you see somebody that you know, uh, one leg is not as long as the other, and as you as you are praying for the person, that leg just came out mm. in your dream. You have seen that in your dream. Mm. So when you wake up and get to that place mm. that you saw in your dream, just call for somebody people that have such mm. problems, mm. and you'll be amazed that there'll be testimony mm. along that line. Yes, because he can do words of knowledge in dreams it's not only when you are yeah, awake yeah, but yeah, even when you are sleeping that's another form of words of knowledge definitely definitely when you know something because you dreamt about it oh yes oh yes and then you step out in that yeah. knowledge yeah. and you'll see those things being made manifest so signs and wonders are not only for pastors mm. for ceos mm. for overseers of uh, uh, churches mm. it is meant for every believers once you know that it's not by power, nor by might, but by the Holy Spirit, and oh, you step yes. out oh, yes. as you are led right. by Him, because when you, step, when you when you move as you are led by Him, mm. you see results. Mm. Result will be evident. Mm. I was saying that Jesus Christ didn't just go about raising up uh, everyday people in in, uh, in Israel. There was a time when somebody said, "Let me go and bury my mm. my father." Mm. Mm. Jesus Christ said. Look, young man, let the dead bury their dead. If it were, if you know, if it were we, we say, ah, I'm going. I am going with you. Ah, this is <laughs> uh, an opportunity uh, to show the power of God. Mm. Jesus Christ didn't even move mm. to go and raise that that mm. dead man up. He was not led to. Do he was not led to go and raise the man up. So he sat down. He mm. sat down. He said, "Look, Mister Man, don't even go. Let the dead bury their dead." Mm. That was that was the case. And by, ah, by the case of Jairus' daughter, mm. when Jairus was saying that, please come and heal my, my daughter, mm. that is Mark 5. Mm. Come and heal my daughter. The Bible says that as he was going, somebody came and intervened. Mm. You know, that was the woman with the issue of blood. Mm. She came and she touched the hem of his garment and she got healed. Mm. So the time was all, I mean, the time was gone. Mm. So they now brought a report from the house of Jairus. Mm. They said, don't trouble the master. Mm. Why? Because it's too late. Mm. That your daughter is dead. Mm. There's no more hope. Mm. Mm. There's someone watching, mm. and it's as if your case is like Jairus, you know, 12 years. yeah, you know, twelve-year-old Jairus' daughter. 
that daughter is dead. In fact, that situation is dead, it's hopeless. Mm. Say, don't trouble the master. Mm. I have a good news for you. Jesus Christ said, mm. he told that man, he said, fear not. Mm. For that news that you have heard, which is negative, mm. fear not, only believe. Mm. You have heard a negative news. Mm. I have come to tell you a good news. Oh, yes. That Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, is alive. Oh, yes. And is able to change every bad news to good one. Oh, yes. He said, fear not, only believe. He got to the house of this, you know, this, this man, and he just touched the mm. lady, and he brought back the dead girl to life. Mm. What are we saying is that he was led to go and do that. Mm. He didn't just go around raising the dead, Everybody. emptying every hospital. <laughs> are you with me? So when we are led by the Spirit of God mm. to step out and do a particular mm. exploit for God, as we step out, mm. we will see results. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So no wonder the Bible says that they were told in Acts 1 8. Yeah. To wait until they be endued with power from on high. Thank you, Lord. So that there'll be witnesses unto him in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Judea, mm -hmm. Judea Samaria, the utmost parts of the earth. Oh yes. Oh yes. Until they be endued with power from on high. Mm. The Holy Ghost. Mm. The power was so important to the, you know, to the early disciples. Mm. In fact, Jesus Christ says, don't do anything. <laughs> until we feel with the Holy Spirit. Mm. It's, 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 it's a pity today in the body of Christ. Many people, they are doing things and they have not the Holy Ghost at all. <laughs> it makes it work very difficult. You won't, you won't get great results if you are not led by the Spirit of God, if you don't have the Holy Spirit and you are not led by Him to, to do exploits. It's as if you are, you know, you'll be using your own efforts mm. to achieve. <laughs> but uh, your efforts cannot take us, you know, cannot take you far. My effort cannot take me far. Mm. Holy Ghost takes you far. Mm. Only one act of the Holy Spirit can bring a whole city oh, yes. to the feet of Jesus. Oh, Only yes. one act oh, of yes. the Holy Ghost. Oh, Only yes. one miracles performed that's led by the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. A whole city can turn around mm. unto God. A whole family can turn around to God. Mm. You know, an individual can be converted genuinely mm. with no <laughs> with no hidden uh, agenda. Mm. Genuine conversion mm. because of the Holy Ghost. So Holy Ghost mm. is so important. Mm. Yes. John 3 tells us that except you be born of the water and of the Spirit. Mm. So you have to be born by the water and by the Spirit. And the water is the Word and the Spirit is the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. So they are involved in any con conversion. Conversion, yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. So we look at Jabez. Mm. The popular prayer of Jabez <laughs> that said that 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 will enlarge my coast, yeah. that thy hand may be with me. Mm -hmm. In our own time, we already have the hand of the Lord. Mm. Mm. It's not a prayer of Point. the New Testament, <laughs> I should think. Yeah. <laughs> we have the hand of the Lord. If you have the Holy Ghost, then that means that you have the hand of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And it's the one that can increase our capacity, mm. more or less. Mm. Because if the Bible says that the gift of a man maketh a room for him and yeah. bringeth him before great men, mm -hmm. there is no gift that any man receives that he does not receive it from above. You are right. So if that's the case, if we have the Holy Ghost, that means he makes a room for us. Mm. That means he increases our capacity mm. so that we can receive the things that are given, that are freely given to us of God. Mm. The Bible tells us that we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, mm. that we may know those things that are freely, freely given, given to us, us of God. Mm. Mm. So he's the one that increases our capacity. That's why we can say in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, that what I have not seen or ear mm. heard, neither entered into the heart of man, has he prepared for those that love him. Thank but you, he Jesus. has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Mm. For the spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. Mm. That what things the the man, uh, the, uh, ma what things mm. do the spirit, the spirit of a man mm. know? He knows the things of the man, the spirit of a man knows the things of a man. Right. That even so, the things of God 
knows the spirit of God. Yeah, so he's the God. one that will reveal those things. He will mm. teach us all things. He mm. will guide us into all things. Mm. So he's the one that increases our capacity. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. So that we can receive everything mm. Mm. that has been freely given unto us of God. Thank freely. You, Jesus. We need to know that we are freely, freely, freely. Mm. We are not paying money. We are not called to pay money. Thank you, Jesus. They are freely given unto us through the Holy Ghost. He's the one that has increased us. Mm. But if we don't study the word, if we don't relate with him, how can we mm. receive that capacity that he has brought? Oh, yes. The room that he has created by being in our spirit. Mm. Mm. Because he's in our spirit. Oh, yes. So oh, that yes. he can communicate with our spirit. Oh, yes. And the communication from our spirit now communicates with our soul. Mm. That is changing our mind, renewing you, our mind. Thank you, Lord. So that we are not conformed to the world. Mm. Mm. We are transformed by the renewing of, of our, our minds. minds. That's true. Mm. Even First Corinthians, Second Corinthians 3 tells us again that he's the one that think that we with open face, beholding us in a glass, the mm -hmm. image of the Lord are changed mm. into the same image. From glory, glory to, to glory. glory, as by the Spirit of the Lord. He's the one that changes us. <laughs> wow. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. So important. The Holy Ghost. Without Him, we can do nothing. Mm. So, under the, under the old covenant, Jabez prayed. He knew how important the hand of God was. Mm. And without, without that hand, you know, His course would just be limited. Mm. However, in our own time, mm. we are under a better covenant. Oh, yes. The Holy Ghost is with us 24 7. Mm, mm. That Holy Ghost, it says, mm. when He comes, it says, He will abide with us forever. forever. So instead of saying, Oh God, let your hand be with me, you are praying, you are praying, you are oh, praying, Testament. oh, Testament prayers. See, the prayer should be, Lord, I thank you because your hands, that your hand is with me. Uh, with me. Uh -huh. So if the hand of God is with us, yeah. what, we, what do we need to pray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at the New Testament now, mm -hmm. the disciples, when they were threatened. Mm, that's, that's, that's Act 4. Yes. Mm. When they were threatened, what kind of prayer did they pray? Mm. They didn't pray that, oh Lord, give us your hand. They said, stretch forth your hand. Mm. Let's look at that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm reading from here. Okay. Acts 4, from verse um, 29. The prayer points of the early disciples. Mm. It says, and now, Lord, behold your threatening, and grant unto your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching forth mm. your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the hand, by the name of your holy child, Jesus. That's Acts 4, 29 and 30. Yes. Hmm. So it's not the hand now, it's the stretched out hand. That's the manifestation of the Spirit, the stretched out hand. Mm. Mm. The stretched out hand. So what did they need here? They needed the stretched out hand, the manifestation of the Holy Ghost, the hand stretched forth. Mm. Mm. If the hand is like this, you can't do anything. Even Definitely. if we want to look at it from the natural point of view. Definitely. If your hand is like this, you can't do anything when your hand is like this. Mm. But they needed that hand to stretch forth now. Oh, yes. To stretch forth and the name of Jesus. That's what they needed. That is the Holy Ghost as well as the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. So that signs and wonders can be made manifest. Mm. So interestingly, the, their disciples, they had the hand of the Lord with them. Mm. The Holy Spirit. Mm. However, they want him to be active. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's, that's interesting. They said, let that hand be active mm. on our behalf. Because mm. what's, the, what's, the use of, what's, the, what's the use of having the hand, having the Holy Ghost with you? Mm. And it's not it's not. The seen. hand needs to function. <laughs> the hands need to, fun to function. So, they have to pray and say, Lord, let your hand be active. We don't want to have you with us. And not and, and and be threatened by men. They were ordinary men. Mm. Those who are, those who are threatening, threatening them in those days, the early Pharisees and the elders, that mm. they should stop preaching the gospel. Mm. They were you have been threatened. Mm. Mm. But when they prayed, mm. oh my, the my, my, my. The whole place was shaking. And when you read subsequent chapter, you will see mm. that the hand of God manifested to the apostles mm. with such a wonders following. Mm. Peter's yeah, Peter's shadow. Bible says 
it was healing the sick. Mm. Peter got to Joppa, mm. he, you know, he, uh, he raised the dead. Somebody who has kept his bed for eight years. Mm. When, Jesus, you know, when Peter met the, the man, he said, Anias, carry your, carry your, mm. carry your bed. Mm. He didn't even mm. pray long prayers. Mm. Why? Because the Holy Ghost was active. Mm. What you and I need is for the Holy Ghost to be active in our life. Oh, yes. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit well. Yeah, yeah. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit well. That is the manifestation, the manifestation of the hand of God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And interestingly, when the hand of the Lord was with, with the early disciples, they were able to know what to do at mm. every given point in time. Oh, yes. In Acts, uh, in Acts 16, 6 to 7, mm. you will see we are... God told the uh, 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 Apostle Paul mm. that please don't go to Asia. Mm. <laughs> it's not time. It's not time. Mm. You know, he mentioned where they should go. He said, Apostle Paul said he had a vision at night mm. and he saw a man mm. telling him, he says, please come and help us in Macedonia. Mm. Mm. Holy Spirit told them where to go oh, and yes. where not to go. Yes. Because his yeah. times are in our hands, in his hands. Mm. Our times, our times, our times, our times are in his hands. Thank you, that Lord. is the hand of the Holy Ghost. Mm. He knows when we need to be in a particular place at any point mm. in time. Mm. Mm. Our times are in his hands. Maybe this time you are supposed to be in a so-and-so place. In another time, at another time, you are supposed to be in another place. Mm. Our times are in his hands. Mm. Our mm. times are in our hands. When we need to be doing a particular thing, he will let us know that this is what we need to be doing now. Thank you, Lord. Our mm. times are in his hands. That means in the hand of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Hmm. Now, let me just quickly read that uh, account where the Lord said you know, they should not go to a place. Mm. Uh, as Acts 16, mm. verses 6 and 7. Acts 16, 6 and 7 says, Now when they had gone through Phrygia and the region of Galatia, mm -hmm. and we are forbidden of the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia, mm -hmm. and they were come to Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit permitted them not. <laughs> you see, in this day and age, you, you know, we need to be able to know where to go and we are not to go. Exactly. Because the world is getting a bit chaotic. <laughs> you can't just say, I, I feel like flying to a place and, and, you, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you feel safe. Mm. <laughs> if God says, don't fly to a place, mm. you don't, I mean, I mean, you don't fly. Mm. And if God says, fly, nobody can stop you. Oh, yes. You can't, you can't crash. Mm. If, if God says, go to somewhere mm. and, and you now crashed, who is glorified? You can't mm. crash. Mm. But we should learn to know what he is saying at every point in time. Yes. Is he saying I should move mm. or I should stay? Yes. Is he saying is, is he saying I should run mm. or I should you know I should just take it easy? Yes. You know, trek slowly. Mm. <laughs> so mm. that is what the hand of the Lord can do to mm. tell you what to do mm. at every given point mm. in time. If we are even to look at um, Jesus when Lazarus died, he didn't go immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. sure if we, if we were to go as a human being, mm. as a, in the flesh, yeah. he would say, ah that's, my, ah, that's my friend. What will happen now? Well, this is not giving God glory. I must rush down there mm. and see what I can do. He, must, he mustn't die. He mustn't do this. Mm. He could have rushed down there. To Thank go and you. save his friend, Thank but the you. Bible says that he he stood he sat still mm. where he was. He was still where he was. Mm. What was he trying to do? Mm. Mm. He was trying to. I believe that he was waiting to hear for instructions oh, on yeah. when to go. Mm. So it took four days before he now got up and went to do what he was led to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So be still and mm. know that I am God. Wow. I'll be exalted in the earth. I'll be exalted among among you. Mm. Mm. That's the word for us. Thank you, Lord. So as the year is running to an end, <laughs> we need to know 
how to spend time with the Lord, have direction mm. Mm. with Him. And even as we get to the coming year too, we need His help more than ever before. Oh, yes. So the question oh, yes. is, how do we, you know, see the straight hands? Mm. How do we see the hand of the Spirit of God? How do mm. we see the Holy Ghost mm. manifest mm. in our lives? Mm. Mm. By relating with Him, how do we re relate with the Holy Ghost? Mm. When we commune with Him, Mm. When we pray in the Spirit, we are communing with Him. He is communing with us. Mm. It will work both ways. Your Spirit prayed, and the Holy Ghost will also be communicating to us. Mm. So that is having fellowship with Him, praying. Yeah. Praying in the Holy Ghost, mostly in the Holy Ghost. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, 18, yeah. praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit mm. praying always with all prayer and supplication, supplication in, in the, the spirit. spirit and watching there unto with all supplication and thanksgiving mm. unto god yeah yeah so we are supposed to pray in the spirit mm. building up ourselves on our, in our most holy faith praying in the holy ghost mm. Communing with him. There should be a communion. Mm. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 13, 14. That the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship. The communion with of the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Be with us. Mm. Now and forever. So there has to be a communion. Praying in the spirit. Mm. Is a priority that every believer has to take on board. Mm. Praying in the spirit. Mm, thank you, Lord. And you know we can't we can't overemphasize the importance, importance of, of praying extensively in the, in the Holy Ghost. Mm. It's so important. Mm. And we're not saying that uh, just just use prayer, uh, just pray uh, pray the Holy Ghost and use it to, to round up uh, prayers, prayers. Uh, you know, yeah. on fellowship days. Maybe on on Tuesday mm. night you just use uh, you pray in the Holy Ghost a little bit. Mm. Then on Sunday or Sunday afternoon you pray in the Holy Ghost for for a little bit. Mm. We are talking of spending good time. Pray in the Holy Spirit. And you know, I can't give you how much, how, how long you should pray in the Spirit. Mm. It's up to you to start. But start from somewhere. Mm. At least spend, at least say five to ten minutes uh, each day. Then take it from there. You can't even <laughs> take it beyond that. Ah, oh, what definitely. some people don't know is that you can be praying in the Spirit and you are doing house chores. Definitely. Yeah. You are driving your you are driving to work and you are praying in the spirit. Definitely. Yeah. You are in the toilet, you are praying in the spirit. <laughs> that's, that's that's true. Anywhere you are, you might be doing mundane things mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you are praying in the spirit. Mm, mm, mm. That's so true. So you that means that you are you are doing a lot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And interestingly, the power of the Holy Spirit is for every believer. Oh yes. Maybe, you know, at the end of this particular broadcast, we will lead, to people, lead people into mm. the prayer of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm. It's for every child of God. It's not for, the Holy Ghost baptism is not for the Pentecostals alone. Mm. Mm. You know, <laughs> it's a pity people have been giving that, uh, that name. Some, some are Pentecostals, some are Baptists, some mm. are CMS. In the early church, mm. there was no Pentecostal, mm. there was no Baptist, no Catholic. Mm. They we are just believers in Jesus Christ. Mm. If you are a child of God, you have access to the Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so uh, you know it's not for some people who are special. Mm. I mean, high class Christians, mm. people who are very close to God, mm. that the one that have the Holy Ghost mm. is for every believer. Yes, child of God, young, old, mm. male, female, mm. red, white, man of <laughs> color. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Mm. And the question is, what is the qualification for the Holy Spirit? Mm. It's just being a child of God. Mm. You say, ah, Reverend, I, you know, I'm not holy enough. In fact, mm. the Holy Ghost is the one that will help you uh, to walk in holiness. Uh, and holiness exactly. means obedience. Mm. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't say you are holy. Mm. It's not possible. Holiness means obedience to what the Holy Ghost is saying. Mm. That's, that's, that's mm. holiness. Mm. So, when we say pray in tongues, it's not something that, hey, pray in tongues. How, how, does, that, how does that happen? Or, you know, people, when they hear pray in tongues, they close their mind and say, well, that's for Pentecostals. Mm. That's an error. Or some will say, well, it's for people who are high up there. Mm. 
in our church, people who, who pray in the Holy Ghost, they are, they are people who are, up, who are up there. You know, people who have been spending time. Yeah. Some will say, well, it's for the full timers. Those who are full time. And some will say, well, it's for people who just, um, you know, who have been serving God for a long time. No. The power of the Holy Ghost is for every child of the Most High God, irrespective of color, race, or denomination. Are you a child of God? The power of the Holy Spirit is meant for you. You can pray in tongues. You can pray in the Holy Ghost 24-7. And when you do that, you begin to see it's leading, becoming clearer in your life. Oh, yes. You know, when you pray more in the Holy Spirit, you'll be able to identify His voice mm. in you. Mm. You you know, you will not say, oh wow, God is speaking. I know that God is speaking to me. Mm. So, praying in tongues should not just be, for those who, you know, who are filled with the Holy Ghost, it's not just just, just praying, cool, praying in tongues, little, 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 little praying in tongues. Yeah. Little on your uh, praying. On your praying. Your pray more in the Holy Ghost. Apostle Paul said, I thank my God. I pray in tongues more than you all. Oh yes. Spend time praying in tongues. Why you do that regularly, extensively, within the next six to twelve months, you are going to be a different you, mm. because you will be able to hear God better, and signs and wonders will be wrought through your hands, mm. not not in the not in the church wall, at work you will, be, you will see signs and wonders happening. Mm. When you are in the plane, you are traveling through you, God can do signs and wonders. Mm. In your family, there can be signs and wonders. Mm. Everything about you will just. You become a surprise to yourself. Mm. Mm. Imagine Peter, who was once a person who was timid, fearful, mm. who couldn't confess Jesus Christ before a small girl. Mm. When he received the Holy Spirit, mm. he became a person who could stand boldly mm. before many people Thousands. and declared about Jesus Christ. Mm. And the same Peter, he became somebody that his child was healing the sick as he spent time with the Holy Spirit. Mm. So, fellowship with the Holy Spirit is very, very important. Yes. And that's what we can see from Acts 6, 1 and 2. Yeah. The disciples. Let's quickly look at that because of our time. Yeah. To confirm what you have said. 6, 1 and 2. Acts 6, 1 and 2. And in those days, when the number of the disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them, and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. word hallelujah so here we're able to say what to see what they did they combined praying in the spirit according to the original greek okay it says to the prayer the prayer there was praying in the holy ghost mm. they gave themselves to praying in the holy ghost mm. and to the ministry of the word mm, studying the word studying Spending the time word. in the word mm. And we shouldn't say that, and this was just the apostles. It's for everyone. Mm. If we want to see great grace manifesting, mm. if we want to see signs and wonders manifesting, we have to take our cue from here. Mm. Even those that were not decide, um, those that were not apostles, even Stephen, <laughs> yeah. we are given his reputation that he was a man of great faith. Yeah, the faith did not jump upon him. No, no, no. Because no. the word says. That faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that means that it must have been somebody that sat at the word in mm. order for faith to come. Mm, 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 mm. So all these people, what they did was to sit, to devote themselves, mm. to give themselves over mm. to praying in the spirit mm. as well as to the word of mm, God. Mm, mm. And great wonders were made manifest. So that combination of praying in the spirit as well as studying the word mm, was mm. what brought them to see great manifestations of grace, of mm. signs and wonders. Thank you, Jesus. And um, as you are talking, you know, in our in previous podcast, you have mentioned that studying the word is not, it's not, it's not dependent upon what somebody else has studied for you. Mm, mm, mm. We thank God for devotionals. 
that okay somebody has prepared a devotional for you and that's what you spend every day on mm -hmm. that's not enough mm -hmm. because that will not sustain you mm -hmm. in the days of difficulties mm -hmm. many times what you need is not uh, is not giving you mm -hmm. need healing mm -hmm. and somebody <laughs> is uh, teaching you on uh, on 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 giving mm -hmm. on monday morning meanwhile your case <laughs> your case requires healing you need instant healing it won't work there must be you are laughing you know thank god for the daily devotion there are many out there mm -hmm. but somebody have have sat down Mm -hmm. have you know received some from god and it's now handing it over to you mm -hmm. and that is what you now build your life upon mm -hmm. we are no more in the days of old moses mm -hmm. moses time mm -hmm. when they will say moses moses go and hear for us mm -hmm. come and tell us mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and i we have access to the word of god mm -hmm. personally mm -hmm. and you can only go where do i study mm -hmm. lead yes. me yes what do you want me to read from this of from these scriptures yes and as you ask him, Holy Ghost won't say, I won't tell you where to read. Mm. I will show you that. Mm. Uh, I will keep the secret. Mm. He will lead you. He can mm. give you a vision. He can, give, he can just leave your hands there. I'm not saying just be opening anyhow. Just yeah. be. But he can lead you through mm. what you are opening. You mm. can begin to study uh, you know, topics, mm. study characters. Mm. Mm. And with that, you are able, you'll be able to stand firmly. Mm. I am not happy the way I, I've met so many Christians all over the world. I've seen that many people, they don't spend time on their own. They depend upon devotionals. Mm. And it's very sad. It's pathetic. It's, it's sad. Because when you see how they talk, you know, this, this, this person is not really spending time with God he, he, himself. Mm. He's only dependent upon what, what they are telling him. Mm. I know there are different levels. We, we have children, we have, um, you know, uh, mature mm. Christians. Mm. But when you, are when, you are in the sense of, when you are a child in, in the sense of the Spirit, you can't remain a child forever. You can begin with devotion as one year, two years, but that one will not, should not continue. <laughs> 20 years. You know, somebody with 20 years old in the Lord, and he's still depending upon what somebody had. And uh, every day, he just reads the 10 lines of devotion as. Mm -hmm. And he does, have, he does have every day of the year. Mm -hmm. That is pathetic. So mm -hmm. let us pray and say, Lord, what do I study? Mm -hmm. Teach me what mm -hmm. to, to study. Teach me, you know, teach me who to hear, even who to hear. Mm, yes, he can direct, he can direct to, to who to hear. Who to hear. A resource. Yes. Lord, teach me to, I mean, lead me to who to hear. Mm. He will lead you. He can give you a dream, he can give you, he can just lead your iPad, your, your what's it called, to, 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 to a person. Yes, or even the thoughts can come to your mind that, yeah. um, what about this? Maybe go and look at spirit, spirit, spirit in the Bible. Yeah. Everywhere where it is mentioned, spirit, go and look at it. Mm. So what you can do in that case is to bring your concordance. Yeah. It's easy to get a concordance. You can you can even Google it. Google, uh, Google, Google, it. Google strong concordance. Google. If you uh, are, uh, you know, if you are living in a place where they have internet, uh, everywhere they have a, a topic, you Google it, uh, study it extensively, study. and get yourself founded in the word. Yes. And yes. I tell you that, mm. uh, you know, you'll just be enjoying the Lord. Mm. You be, you enjoy the mm. you know when it is time for God to speak to you, it will just pick up what you have studied mm. for the day, yes, and speak to you on that. Mm. Or it might even be something that you studied ten years or twenty years before. Interesting. Interesting. You just Interesting. bring the word up. So something key to note is that we are we should acknowledge Him, mm. acknowledge the Holy Ghost in all our ways, mm -hmm. and He will direct our paths. Definitely, definitely, mm. in all our ways. So so that's the you know next thing to do. Acknowledge the Holy Spirit in all our ways. And He will direct our path. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. It says, In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Holy Spirit, nothing is too small mm -hmm. to be acknowledged, you know, to, to, to acknowledge the Holy Spirit upon. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Say, Well, even, even, even the clothes you want to go and buy, mm -hmm. Holy Ghost is interested. Mm -hmm. The food you are eating, the Lord is interested. He will guide us into all truth. Yes. He didn't say some. How to take care of your children is interested. Oh, yes. The person you want to marry is interested. Oh, yes. How he will connect you with the right business is interested. Oh, yes. Most importantly, how to end well is hmm. interested. It's <laughs> interested. So why can't we acknowledge him? So in all our ways, let's acknowledge him. And... and that's our part. Hallelujah.
Our personal parts, even our huh? parts. Our parts. Personal, our parts. Your personal because parts. Because your parts are different mm. from my parts. Mm. So your own personal parts that you are supposed to work in. Because the Bible tells us that we are the workmanship mm. created in Christ Jesus unto every good work that Thank he has you, before ordained that we should walk in them. Thank you, Lord. So everybody you, Lord. is a craftsman, is a work of the Almighty God. Mm. And we have things that he has already ordained for each and everybody to do. Thank you, Lord. And we need to know those things so that we can walk in them. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And we can't do that without the Holy Ghost. That's, that, that, that's wonderful. Mm. The point there is, your path is not my path. Mm. But the Holy Ghost knows your path. Mm. Before I formed you, I knew you. Mm. <laughs> that's that's the word of God. Mm. Jeremiah 1. Mm. Before, mm. before you were you are from your mother's womb, God mm. knew you. Oh, yes. And... And he has some plans for you. And those plans, you know, as you spend time in the world and have not the Holy Spirit, those mm. plans are revealed. Mm. And you begin to walk in them. And interestingly, he even he gives grace to walk in them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, oh, which yes. means when you are achieving some things, either for God or in your business, mm. you should always return the glory back to the one mm. who knew you before you were from your, before mm. you were from your mother's womb. Mm. And he also gives he also gives you the grace mm. to achieve. The purpose mm. whereby you were created. Mm. Hallelujah. You will give grace and glory. Mm. And no good thing, no will good thing from those that walk will be withhold from them that walk uprightly. Mm. Mm. No good thing mm. will he withhold mm. from you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank God for those wow. who have joined us. Mm. Mr. Ayo, thank you very much for mm. <laughs> for coming to be part of this broadcast. Mm. Pastor Akiolatunji, thanks for coming. Mm. Bishop Taikuku, thanks for thanks for coming too. Mm. The Lord will keep on increasing us in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you are there, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, we will just lead you to the prayer of salvation, mm. and mm. and I believe that God will save your soul in Jesus' name. If you are there, and you want and you want to be saved. Just say after me, mm. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord of, of my life. Mm. And I believe in my heart that God has raised you up from the dead. I receive the power to become the Son of God from now in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe mm. that I am born again and God is my helper and I will make heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And lastly, you are there, you are a child of God, and you have not received the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. The power is for you. Mm. Luke 11, 11 to 13 says that God is willing to give his, his, his gift of the Holy Spirit to anyone that asks from him. Oh, yes. So, let me just pray with you. Heavenly Father, those who are hearing me, hearing us, mm. and they have not received the power of the Holy Spirit, let them receive your power as your children in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. From now onward, let the power of God begin to manifest through, I mean, through you. Out of your belly, mm, let the of living, living water flow the with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every blockade in the name of towards Jesus. your receiving the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. I remove now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to flow Amen. in the power of God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 God bless you. Mm. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. In uh, in advance, mm. and by the grace of God, we shall meet on Let's Talk edition coming Saturday. If Jesus studies, mm. remain blessed mm. and remain rapturable in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen. God bless amen. you. God bless you. Bye. Bye.